want to give a shout out to Ryobi Deal Finder. Join the group if you want to uh, find out the latest deals for Ryobi products and also for a chance to win the raffle. I also do want to give a shout out to Ryobi King. I watch his channel, I'm subscribed. Uh, he did what I did. Uh, he is upgrading his camera equipment and he's gonna uh, developing a different style of filming. So uh, check, uh, he's, he's in the works of that so he hasn't uploaded anything in the past uh, couple days or a week. So check out Ryobi King, uh, he's a good watch. And I'm extremely interested to see what he's gonna, uh, how he's gonna film now. So I can't wait to, to see what Ryobi King does. So I did the same thing. I completely changed the style, uh, the way I film. Uh, the way I filmed in the beginning is absolutely terrible to now. So I apologize. If you're a new member, uh, if you just if you just subscribe to me and you look at my uh, past videos, or if you found me through a past video. I don't film like that anymore. My earlier videos were absolutely terrible. So so what we are going to talk about today is this bad boy. This is, I don't even know what model number this is. Let's see if I can find it. Now I had this for over a year already. I got this last fall. We are going to clean it really quick. I only used it twice. Uh, I only used it twice this summer, or three times, so it's been collecting dust because I really don't need a leaf blower during summer. I use this just to fan out the, the grass after I cut it. And so yeah, this thing is extremely powerful and it's a really uh, easy uh, to use and it's light. So uh, I used this for over a year and uh, it never let me down yet. And the fuel I use for this, I get the, the true fuel at Home Depot, the 50 to 1 ratio mix. I do not mix my own fuel because uh, I do not want to mess up and the engine, uh, the motor uh, fry out in time. So, and plus I don't really use that much gas anyways. So one, like I would use one of these a year. So $10 of gas a year is not that bad. To afford to have a motor with a, uh, the exact mixture it needs to operate. And it's cleaner too because in case you don't uh, put too much oil, in case you put too much oil in it, it will mess up the engine and vice versa. So this is uh, a 25, uh, two cycle 25cc engine. Uh, and uh, the max air volume is 520 and the max air speed is 160 miles an hour. And the uh, noise rating is 74, so yeah, th this thing's pretty loud. It, I, I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty loud. And so uh, fuel tank capacity is 18 ounces. And so like the one, uh, one of these containers will last me all year for, the, for how often I, uh, because I don't go out there every day, I, I let the leaves accumulate, which I'm not letting that happen in this video because I want to get this video out there. And so, yeah, this thing is uh, this thing is awesome. This thing is awesome. Oh, the model number. Model number is RY25AXB. It is $130 for the sleeve blower, and uh, it's it's worth the money. It is worth the money. I'm pretty sure there are cheaper ones out there, but this one is designed and built extremely well. So let's uh, start this up. Uh, there is instructions on how to start it, which I already know, so it's very easy to do and it's it's reliable. Uh, you're not there all the, like cranking this all day to get this started. This starts up pretty quickly, especially if you use the proper fuel. So let's get this started. All right, so you gotta pump the fuel, pump 10 times. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Put that to uh, put that to full, full choke. You got to put this to full. If it's at idle, it won't start up. And there is a quick, uh, quick stop button right there. So you just tap that, and it'll stop the motor immediately. All right, so that's at full now. Half choke. Oh no, is that full choke?
turns it off. Now what you could also do is you could uh, have this set to full so you don't have to pull the trigger at all. So just to show you how easy it is to start now. So that's pretty much the demonstration and specs on the Ryobi two cycle gas powered leaf blower. Now this thing is uh, this thing is awesome. It saves me a lot of time and uh, what you saw out there is what you would uh, pretty much just the results when you already got the leaves off of the ground. The more leaves you have in the ground, the more you'll move. So we're gonna, uh, you're, you're gonna be seeing this in, uh, in videos in the future because I'm gonna film every time I have to go out there. And so yes, I do recommend you get the already pre-mixed fuel for this because it'll just keep your engine cleaner and it'll last you longer. Because as you can see, like right now, with no effort whatsoever, it starts up so uh i i recommend you get the you get the fuel now i had this is not brand new i had this for a year already i used the crap out of it last year and i'm gonna use the crap out of it this year and it's gonna stay just keep your uh keep your stuff clean and it'll last you a long time and use premix fuel for that i'll guarantee i guarantee you it will last longer so that's pretty much it i just wanted to uh give a demonstration of this and show you guys the specs and my recommendations, this thing is, I do recommend this one. When it comes to any battery operated leap lower, I do not recommend you use that out, uh, outside on the grass. Always use uh, a gas one just because the amount of the, how long you're going to be out there, you're going to want gas because the power that it takes, because sometimes the leaves are wet, the leaves cling on to grass and then they just won't want to go. And so, yeah. I recommend for a leaf blower gas and you guys know me I'm all about the one plus system but for the leaf blower gotta go gas put that back up in the rack and that's now that is ready to go for the rest of the fall so that's pretty much it so this is Dave Nicholas thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time